I should be in bed. This is no place to be out messing around at this time of the... Why are we out? I don't know. Things are wet, very wet. Trying to drag this massive DMI ripper through the mud, it's not working. As you can see, I'm cheating it up just to get through. We're spinning. This ain't gonna work, I'm pulling out of this field. We got rain coming, so the goal was to get this one done, but no, no. I better get this DMI to another field well. It's still clean and not broken. Two things that these DMIs usually never are. There's some dry spots for about 100 yards. It's working pretty nice. Uh, we took the 600 here off of the 2596 grain cart. So this is actually the tractor I was in most of the fall. Still got my sweat lines in the seed from nearly spilling all that corn due to the transmission not being the greatest to drive yeah I don't know Chet's in the seven shank we got a hired hand and and the five shank and they maybe can pull theirs through a little more than what I can but I'm doing about I'm doing about 70 percent of what I go over and the rest I'm just dragging the duels through and I don't like that very much so Otherwise, I really don't see much tillage. Last year, I was actually in this field, uh, ripping, same setup. Uh, it had just been, manure had just been knifed in, and it was a smelly mess. And since then, I, yeah, I don't really run much of the rippers. So, I'm just gonna lower it into the ground until I spin turn around on the headlands. I think that's all these tillage guys do anyways. Well, while I was talking to you guys, <laughs> that thing behind me plucked up like it was no one's business. So I need you, need you guys to tell me that next time. Uh, too wet for me, or I'm not strong enough of a man, but I'm going to a dryer field. So good luck to them. I'm at the next field, doing the every other pass deal. Seems to be what no one taught me to do, so I'm just gonna try it. Can't turn this big rig as sharp as I need to. And I noticed we got a problem. I just cleaned my windows. And he's hanging on for, for a free ride. We don't do free rides at Larson Farms. Sorry about smearing the window, Doug. Well, Doug came out and swapped spots with me. Uh, he's in the DMI Ripper now. <clears throat> so I'm gonna hook up to our other Selford and I get to use this new T-Track. It's way too clean. Like, I maybe shouldn't do this, but it's all we have left. Uh, we got all the quads in use. Um, we even unhooked the fertilizer tender and put that on our five shank ripper. So I get the IVT uh, little 370 here. We'll see what that does. But I'm going to be going over to some of my ground that uh, I'll be farming next year and it's a lot lighter soil. So we're going to do a little more minimal tillage on that. Uh, it's been in a no-till program for quite a few years. So I want to work it up some and then I will have the anhydrous guy come in and give me some nitrogen for next year. Got 
Got to start the massage seat right away. Oh, door slams a little easier. This is, uh, oh, this is comfy. I cannot wait for spraying in this next year. I'm actually in Chet's tractor, uh, what he'll use for the bean planter next spring. Uh, we think that might get a little less hours on it, seeing it's on the bean planter versus the other T-Track will be on corn pre-emerge, what I'll be spraying with. Uh, so I'm going to put more hours on this, uh, trying to keep them both balanced for the next few years with this lease program. Hey everybody, welcome back to Larson Farms. Appreciate you stopping in. Today we uh, we got the 9R hooked up to the seven shank ripper. Um, we really want the 5200 to go over all the acres. The new uh, uh, round blades instead of the notch blades are working a lot better in the mud. Um, but we just can't cover everything. We got so behind because we grounded tillage just because of the five inches of rain that we're like behind a lot on how many acres we got to cover. So we're going to get everything out. We're getting the five shank. This is the seven shank. We're going to put the five shank behind the 450 quad track and hook, unhook the pro force. Oh, that's, that's full. And then we're going to get the 870 ripper, which I, I was really hoping we didn't have to use that wreck, but we're in panic mode because rain's coming tonight. So we're going to try and get as many more acres done as possible before uh, more rain. Okay, so we uh, finished cleaning tracks this morning. Dad has to uh, go to an eye doctor appointment, so he's not going to be around for uh, half the day here. So it's going to be me, Eric, Randy, and our normal tillage guy, Roger, out doing tillage. So we're going to hook this tractor up to the 870 because it's obviously the biggest one. So, and the other 600's on the Salford. See, there's your problem. You got me the wrong hitch pin. I gotta go get a smaller pin. Got the big uh, class five for the 2096. So this ain't gonna quite work. So, with the rippers come what we call a cap box. So, view bolts, shear bolts, um, bushings, tips, miscellaneous hardware for repairs. Also, we gotta put tools in the tractor. That's the Salford. There ain't one tool in that tractor. And there ain't one part in that tractor and it hasn't broke once. But I know we're gonna have repair because especially on this 870, it breaks this bolt all the time. This is a shear bolt, it is to protect the rest of the unit. But uh, they go quite a bit on rocks and also these T-bolts. So we gotta have parts with all the time because it's notorious for breakdowns. I normally don't get into too much tillage and when I do it's normally in the mud, but 
Here we go. Should be fun. Lots of equipment moving. So update, it's happening. We're, we're turning dirt black. It is, uh, if you can't tell, I'm getting jostled around because we're spinning out. So I literally sit here all day and just raise lower, raise lower. As I spin out, I raise it a little bit. And then when it gets going like good, like right now, I lower it. And I think that my tracks are plugged again. Account of the trash that's built up rubbing on the track right there. But on the bright side, nothing's broke yet. Just about midnight. Things are going well. This field's conditions are a lot better. Uh, one tractor went down. Unfortunately, we're not sure if the oil cap on the engine was left off or if it vibrated loose and came hopping out. But that then uh, sprayed oil out onto the alternator, which then caused that to fail, which then caused the tractor not to be able to be ran. So the big ripper is not working. So we're out here, I'm still running the 9R with the seven shank ripper. Dad took over for Roger so he could go home and sleep. And he's running the five shank out here. We're on a field that have mile long rounds. It's gonna be a long night. Also, I think that dad caught on to that I took the good side of the farm and was just going back and forth, you know? gave him the muddy side of the farm because then he gets on the two-way and's like you know I think you better come over here into the mud so that we get that uh, muddier area of the field done before it rains I'm like well it's kind of wet over here dad I think I better stay over here. no I think it's worse over here <laughs> yeah dad I know it's worse over here that's why I'm on that side but I'll come help play in the mud so I told you that the something would break. It's not a matter of if, but when. See, mister is not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be like this. That was the shear bolts I was talking about. And I just so conveniently broke down next to uh, this other broke down tractor. I, I just kind of drove right over here because I knew this one had a hammer on the hitch to beat that back down with. This isn't exactly what I want to be doing at 1.30 in the morning either. up though. It'll definitely wake you up. A little project like this. Woo. There we go. Yeah. Now I gotta go get a bolt from that box. That's bright. We'll be back up in less than five minutes hopefully. like that should be ready to roll again you know there is one really good thing though at least it isn't frozen out because you do this a lot when you're ripping in the frost that happens a lot a lot Whew, almost lost some teeth big hammer got away that with the Yankum rope just in case I also got some wrapping here that I've been watching occur probably should clean that out since I'm out of the cab
and we're back. We're ready to roll. Nothing like some extremely early morning workout. Woo. Well, we're just wrapping up another half section. It's pretty awesome. Got uh, all three of us out here now. Rain showed up with the 5200. He finished the soybean ground. And uh, I'm out of fuel. We got half an hour's worth of fuel left. So I think we're going to be calling it a night, which I would appreciate. I'm tired. I am tired. Uh-oh. almost appear as if I just ran out of fuel. Why did you die? Hey, mister? This is an inconvenient location to shut off at. The fuel light wasn't even on. Do I try? Do I try to start it? This is not the way I wanted to end this morning. Well, this is gonna be a very inconvenient location to try to get fuel to. Here's my ride. The other side? So you can't see anything, but we're entering the field with a very heavy shop truck. You better grab a low gear and floor it because... She's a heavy pig. Oh, we're, we're gonna make her, I think. Red line. <laughs> Who's making eggs when we get old? Yeah, I got some, actually. We can make breakfast. Sleep some kind of feels more important than that. Pretty heavy. Are you? Yeah, we didn't pack lunch for 24 hours. So we gotta get the book out to uh, flip to the page of when you run out of fuel, what do you do? For the record, three minutes. Turn the key on for three minutes. Don't crank it for three minutes, said the book. Fired right up. Hey, how's it going? You got them with? You bet you don't have accidents like this. You can't leave them hanging. I was recording right when I was telling him I had a half an hour of fuel left and then bleh, dead. No. Never seen anything like it. You guys should be in bed. There's no place to be out messing around at this time of the... Why are we out? I don't know. Well, he got her moving. Fuel trailer's pretty much empty. I'm gonna finish this headland up. I think I'm gonna call it a night, so thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.